What's up, collective? What's up? <coughs> oh, bless me, y'all. My bad. Damn. It could be this sage. This is a new sage stick, y'all. This is blue sage. Um, I burned the other one out with the Palo Santo stick, but I'm going to have to get some more of them. But this is a blue sage stick. Hopefully, you can find it in your city, in your local area. Okay. Um, so, we're going to tap into to the uh, energy today, y'all. What's today? It's Wednesday, January 17th. No, 18th. January 18th. Amen. This is the last day of the Mercury retrograde. Woo! Mercury goes direct. Things just start to simmer down. Some of us can quit acting so crazy. Like, damn. I can't sing, but I love Auntie Anita. Anita Baker. Okay, period. That's good soul music. All right, y'all. We're going to tap in. We get the same card today, y'all. Masquerade. So, man. I Whoever this masculine energy is, he is going through it. Okay? The games is over. Like, this mask has been snatched off this masculine energy, and they are, like, vulnerable. They feel exposed. They're, they're just, I mean, it's like the mask, whether they want it, whether they wanted the mask to come off or not, it's like, it's off. Like, it's like this person wasn't anticipating feeling like this. They weren't anticipating being in their feelings. Like, you, you'd be surprised how many men who be in their ego be trying to make it seem like they don't operate off emotions they so detached so hardcore when really everything they do is is based on emotion like men sometimes i would feel like men more emotional than women are but anyway that's another story for another day but yeah we got masquerade out here so this man's mask has came the fuck off then we got number 15 that breaks down to a six. So, yes, this is somebody who feels like you're their soulmate and shit. But it's just like this person feels naked when they talk to you collective or naked when they speak to you, when they interact with you, when they encounter you. Because they know that you're not somebody that they can pull one over on. It's like they know that now. You're not somebody that they can lie to, scheme on, trick, play. Like they know that. It's like this person knows that you see right through them in that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And this person is like embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? Like the clownish, childish ass shit that they did is just like, it's like they're being constantly reminded of this shit. It's like, I feel like this person thinks about you all day because we got the Eight of Swords energy out here. We got settlement, agreement, compromise. So this person wants to compromise. They want to settle this shit with you. To settle this, I heard settle this dispute. So for some of you, this could be like court shit going on for some of you or just settle it, period. Like this whole beef, all this drama, like somebody here just wants to settle this shit and compromise. Like, damn, can we just come to some sort of agreement? Because this shit is just, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's not even fun no more. All the game and shit, not even fun no more. Like this shit is just annoying as fuck and just annoying. Like, you know? And then we got lockbox out here. It says closed, trapped in, frustrated. It's the eight of swords energy. So for some of you, this person needs your help with something. Like I said, they need your help. They just want to come to some sort of agreement or something because, ooh, I just heard somebody wants their best friend back. I don't know what's up with this best friend shit. It's like lovers and friends shit out here now. Like energy. I don't know. I feel like these masculines are people that you really had a tight bond with for a lot of you. These weren't just some fly-by-night situations. These weren't uh, situations created by just one-night stands and shit like that. These are people you actually had history with. People that you actually used to be friends with and shit. You know what I'm saying? These are people that you had long-standing relationships with that did some fuck shit. And now it's like shit that hit the fan. Shit that blew up in their faces. It's just like, they, it's like people are realizing who their true allies were. A lot of these people sabotage 
the relationships with the people who had their backs the most. It's like now they're just now seeing that shit. And it's just kind of like, it's just like, man, it says closed in, frustrated. You know, because this person, they're all up in their head at the source because they don't know how they can fix this. They don't know what they can say or do to get you to compromise or agree with them or what they can do or say to get you to settle this shit. It's just like this person feels like they, it's like they just literally, they don't have the answer. Like real shit. And then we got divine masculine out here, period. So yeah, this is a man who wants to step into his divine masculine energy. You know, he's tired of like being pushed around. He's tired of not con taking control of his life. He's tired of situations getting out of control with people telling him what to, what to do. He's tired of picking the wrong people, choosing the wrong friends, all that type of shit. It's just like, yeah, look at that bad health on the bottom of the deck. It's like somebody here is like, they just really want to find a way to fix this. Like for some of you, this person could even ask you on a date, ask you to go out for drinks so that y'all can discuss this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just like... My only thing with this is, like, I get it. You know, we're human. Human makes mistakes. And I and I say that all the time because the human experience, that's just how it happens. Like, you have to make mistakes in order to learn and grow. So, it's not about making the mistakes. It's what you do after you make the mistake that shows who you are as a person who re that really shows your character. And that's what's so unsettling about this. Because it's like, yes, this person realized the error of their ways now. And they want to fix shit. But at the same time, it's not so much what you did. It's like how you moved after you did it. That makes this person like untrustworthy. It's like for a lot of them, they did what they did and then they were still lying about it. Some of these people try to throw you under the bus, try to snake you, backstab you, did all type of shit. And it's just like, yeah, you want to settle and you want to agree to this shit. But it's just like for some of you, you can't unsee what you've already saw. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, you still got love in your heart for these people. And it's like, I want to trust you. I, I I wish that we could patch this up. But it's just like, you don't got trust. You don't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? So for a lot of you, you're looking at it differently. You're looking at it like, shit, you snake me once, you'll snake me again. So as much as I would like to like fix this shit with you or come to some sort of compromise, I mean, we can, but like to a certain degree. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to fully 100% trust you like I did. Or, like, you know, we can make amends for the sake of our children, but we'll never be back together. Like, it's just like, you know, it's like you got to stand firm on your shit collective. And it's, like, really driving somebody. Like, somebody here didn't really think that you would change. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're different now. This person, you're not like this person remembers you know what i'm saying or you're not going to be when you talk to this person then on the bottom of the deck we got crushed sad broken then we got blood ties in a circle like i said for some of you these are long-standing bonds like relationships and shit that you have with people some of you got kids with these people some of you are family with these people you know what i'm saying and it's just like look at this trash just throw the whole Throw the whole relationship away because it's, it's, it's like nothing we can do. It's nothing. Man, it's like it's really like no way to fix this. And I feel like once this person realizes that it ain't come, come, it ain't going to be no coming back from whatever the fuck this shit is they did, it's, they're going to be crushed. It's that sad, broken, feeling alone. It's like this person is just not going to believe that this shit is over. But it's just like, how long did you think you was going to play this game? Like, how long did you think you was going to keep this bullshit up? Like, nobody is feel like, man, look, times change and things, people move on. You know what I'm saying? Time goes on. Nobody is waiting for you to grow the fuck up. And that's what this person is realizing. Like, you wasted so much fucking time playing around, doing stupid shit. Or doing whatever you did. Like, time was never on your side with this shit. The moment you fucked up and you realized that you still wanted to keep the relationship or the bond or the friendship or whatever it was that you had with me, you should have been trying to fix it then. You don't wait years and years later after you to backstab somebody to try to fix some shit. Yeah, child. Like, this person's immature. For some of you, like I said, you definitely have a child with this person or children. 
it's like they want to come to some sort of agreement, a custody. I feel like somebody out here is going through a custody battle with settlement and children. It's like somebody here is like trying to come to a compromise in regards to child custody and shit. And it's like frustrating as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, could be over a little girl. But if it's not like a child custody battle, like I said, this is just somebody who's immature as fuck. Childlike behavior. It's like you're immature. Like, this shit didn't went on for too long. Like, somebody here did too much and shit. It's just like, what? Like, no, bro. Like, nobody's finna keep tolerating that shit or putting up with that bullshit. It's like people are really standing up and taking their power back and shit. Motherfuckers not playing no more. So, for the people still playing games, it's just like you really setting yourself up for failure. Because motherfuckers don't got time for that shit. Yeah, thief. Yeah, for some of you, some of you could have moved on already to a new relationship or a new situation or you just moved on, period. And this person is all up in their head because they feel like, you know, thief. They feel like somebody's going to take you from them. It's an 11 on my time. And so for some of you, this could be some twin flame shit. But yeah, somebody out here feels like, like they're all up in their head because they think, like they think that somebody's going to steal you away from them. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, like you're moving on and shit. Especially if you got a kid with this person. They're like, oh my fucking God, you're moving on. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to move on and be with somebody else. Somebody else going to be the, you know, going to play, feel that role as the father figure in my child's life and shit. Like, somebody feels like with a thief card that they're going to, that somebody's going to steal you away from them or steal that family away from them and shit. That's why this person is frustrated because it's like they don't know how to fix this shit with you. So now their worst fear, Eight of Swords with the Thief card, is that somebody's going to steal you away, steal their family away. Somebody's going to steal their position, take their spot. You know what I'm saying? But they would be right because we do got Divine Masculine out here. This person couldn't get their shit together. It's a real Divine Masculine showing up. And this person got a nice body too. Whoever that, the new person is. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, that's what you get. Like, you should have got your shit together when you had the opportunity to. It's like somebody out here just feels really embarrassed. They just feel like a fucking clown, like a loser. Somebody's name could be Tony. Yeah, look at that message. I feel like this person wants to step into their power now, but they're too late. Look at this shit. This person want to message you, call you, say something to you and shit. With this seven on this card, for some of you, you got this person blocked. But this person's having a lot of anxiety. They're all up in their head. And for a lot of them, they're stuck in a situation they can't get out of with the eight of swords. Yeah, look at that. It's like, that's their worst fear. Eight of swords with the thief card. They are afraid that somebody is going to take you. Somebody's going to get a chance with you. Somebody is going to get what they always wanted with you, but they were too busy being immature and playing around. Like marriage on the bottom of the deck. This person knew ultimately at the end of the day that they were going to marry you or you were the person that they wanted to marry, but they thought they had time. They thought they had time to grow up before they get to this. But baby, time is of the essence. When God presents a blessing to you there's no time to waste it's now or never like real shit like you've been dating your whole life single not really meeting somebody that you really you know that really checks off the shit that you want on your boxes and shit don't really tick you know if you you know what i'm trying to say if you don't really you ain't been finding nobody that you just feel like you really click with and shit and then you finally find somebody that's going to get, be like as close as perfect as you're ever going to get. Why would you play around with that? Like somebody, somebody out here is just, it's just like, it doesn't make any sense. Like the way this person makes their decision is just like dumb. It's like they're impulsive. It's like they don't think before they act. Childish ass shit. It's like they don't think or they didn't think before they fucked this up. And it's just like now, it's just like to the point of no return. Like what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? The family room is empty now. It's like, yeah, you still got love for this person, but you know that they ain't right. You know what I'm saying? This was the goal, but it's almost like shit. You can never get your fucking shit together. So if I'm miserable now, if you can't get your shit together now, why would I wait to be in a fucking relationship or a marriage with you? Something that's even harder to get out of and then be hoping that you change and shit. 
I'm finna, not finna, motherfuckers is not finna hope that a motherfucker change. It's either you are, you is, you are what you show me. So either you're a good person right now, today in the present, or you're not. I'm not banking on three years from now and, oh, he'll change eventually. She'll change eventually. They'll get their shit together eventually. No, we don't. Tomorrow is not promised. Nobody has time to wait. You can be here today and go tomorrow. So who the fuck's going to be sitting up wasting all their time waiting on somebody to grow the fuck up? Figure out what they want and shit. Nobody. And if you are, that's stupid as fuck. Somebody also could be going to jail for for theft. Eight of Swords of the Thief card. Somebody could be going to jail for stealing and shit. For some of you, this person could be locked up. And they probably going to be in that motherfucker for a long time. So now they're, they're scared. You know, like, damn, I'm finna be in this motherfucker. I'm finna be in the penitentiary and shit. Somebody else is going to take my place. Like, she going to move on. And you goddamn right. As she should. because Or he should. Because who the fuck is going to wait on somebody to get, get out of jail? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, if you get locked up, that means the universe is purposely sitting your ass down for a reason. You was out here acting a fool, so now your freedom had to be take the, taken away to the point where you're stuck in like you're stuck in a facility where you can't even do what you want to do or be around the people that you want to be around. You know what I'm saying? It's just like now what? Or somebody out here is in spiritual jail. Like they can't manifest you, they can't come towards you. It's like no way. It's like spirit didn't block it off. Like, no, you will not come towards my child when you know you're not gonna do right. Like, you had plenty of time to make shit right, to apologize. You had ample time, and you refused to do it. So, now we're blocking you. Like, real shit, especially if this person been trying to telepathically communicate with you, it ain't fucking happening. This person just looks fucking stupid. What zodiac signs are here for the collective spirit? Jupiter. Jupiter, uh, that's Sagittarius energy. Jupiter talks about expansion. Somebody out here could be celebrated. Like somebody out here is pregnant. With a settlement card and a child in Jupiter, somebody out here is pregnant. This is like a baby shower or some shit. Somebody recently celebrated or going to be celebrating this weekend. Or it was a child produced out of a third party situation or something like that. Somebody expansion. Somebody's expanding their family with a child in a Jupiter card. You know the card is here. Yeah, tower moment. Ooh, that might be exposed. Some of you could be a Scorpio. We got Scorpio Sagittarius out here. It could be a uh, Scorpio Sag Cusper. Yeah, it's like somebody, somebody out here is also embarrassed about who they got a baby by or who they got pregnant or somebody is currently pregnant by them. Somebody out here is embarrassed about that. Yeah, Scorpio energy. I got Scorpio energy out here twice. So heavy Scorpio. Or this person has a Scorpio placement in their chart, or you could. I know I do, because a lot of the time, a lot of the time when I'll be doing these readings, I'll be channeling from my Scorpio moon. <laughs> Fire. We got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius out here. Yeah, it's like something's being exposed. Something somebody thought that they was gonna keep a secret. They thought they thought they were gonna hide. It's like it's too big of a secret to keep. The Jupiter card here is like something is expanding. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. This is like somebody who got somebody pregnant. Yeah, because the child card is number eighteen. One plus eight breaks down to a nine. So nine months from now. So somebody here was hiding the fact that they got somebody pregnant or they are pregnant by somebody. And it's like they probably been able to keep it a secret because probably she wasn't showing or something. 
But now that it's getting closer to the child being born, it's just like, now it's like, you can't hide it. Like, what? It's like, I don't know. Somebody out here is having a baby about somebody that they try to keep hidden or keep it a secret, but they can't. It's like, it's like the ladies do. I feel like it's going to shock people, though. I don't know why. Yeah, we got Leo out here. Bottom of the deck is Cancer. So, yeah, it's like somebody out here is, like, having a baby by somebody or people are finding out that this person just had a kid or something like that. And people are like, wow. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't know. It's like somebody knows that once this information comes out or once this information reaches you, like their chances of ever getting back with you, having their dream life, marrying you and any of that shit is just like out the door. And for a lot of you, you don't even give a fuck. It's just like you don't even have those thoughts about this person now. It's like you don't have it's just like it's like the way that you used to see this person. You do not see them like that no more. You don't see them as like like for a lot of you, you're not sexually attracted to this person no more. It's like it's blank. It's like when you think about this person, it's like blank. I'm saying all the things that you use, like, I don't know, man. It's just man. Man, it's just like you don't see nothing positive when you think about this person or when it comes to this situation. You don't see a future. It's like nothing there. Like type of shit. Damn. Your guys got angels, ancestors. Give me what is the message for the collective today? It's fucked up. You just don't see this person as that anymore. It's like it's. I'm telling you, it's like shit has switched. Like switch roles. You and this person have switched roles. Now this person's looking like you're the end all, be all, the everything. You know what I'm saying? And you're just thinking like this person is like ill, like never, ever, ever, ever. Like this is like this person was never my type. Why did I fuck with them? Like, ew, like it's like now this person feels like you're the one and you feel like this person is not. Okay, the furthest thing from me. I'm telling you, a lot of you could be meeting somebody new. It's like shit is getting ready to take off. The Mercury goes direct today on the 18th. Yeah, shit is finna go in a completely different direction. Like this shit, this whole situation did not turn out like anybody thought it would. Not for divine masculine, not for divine feminine, not for the karmics, and not for this karm this karmic masculine either. It's like this whole situation turned out like nobody would have guessed it. Like real shit. It's like I said, for a lot of you divine people, you thought that you were going to reconcile with this person because you really thought this person was your soulmate or your twin flame. And it's like, come to find out, this person is not. It's just like, you know, you're not even attracted to this person anymore. Others of you, like if you're a karmic and shit, it's like you try everything to stay with this person or be with this person and it's not ending this way. Like These karmics try everything to sabotage this bond between you and this karmic masculine. And I ain't even gonna lie, they were successful because you don't even like this person no more. Real shit. But then the karmics, it's like they did all the conniving ass shit to sabotage the relationship between you and this person. And although they were successful, they don't realize that they sabotage and they they sabotage themselves in the process too. Cause it's just like now, bitch, y'all hoes done been exposed for being so low down and conniving too, for trying to ruin a relationship that you never should have had your business in to begin with. So now, bitch, you can't get a man. You can't. This man that you tried to take, he don't want your ass. And because of what you did and how you tried to sabotage this relationship between him and somebody else and people know about it, nobody wants to fuck with you. It's like everybody lost, basically. The divine people, you don't, this connection is null and void. This masculine energy they missed out. It's a missed opportunity. They won't never get a chance to be able to do this again. Not with you, collective. And then the karmic, it's like your reputation. They reputations are ruined. Okay? Like, people not fucking with you because they know how the karmics get down. 
it's like everybody lost. And I mean, like, it just depends on how you look at it. Because for the divine people, it's not really a loss because, like, it's almost like, why would you even want to be with somebody like this? You know, this person would have been no good for you. But at the same time, it just feels like a loss because for a lot of you, you feel like you wasted a lot of time. You know, some of you had kids with this person. So it's almost like, damn, like, I could have just waited to have kids with somebody who was actually going to be my person. So I feel like for the divine people, for the divine folks, it's like in some sort of aspect, you see it as a loss. It's like overall, you know, it's not a loss. But it's certain parts of it that you feel like it is because like some of you is like, damn. You know, it's like, yeah, I see everything clearly now. I know what the fuck is going on and I know what's what. But it's like, like, damn, I still had a baby by this person though. Or others of you is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you don't have kids by this person or whatever. But it's just like, you wasted a lot of time, like, thinking that this person was going to come back or thinking that this person was going to return or like, you know, you just spent a lot of time healing and shit. So it's almost just like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? I could have been doing something else with my time had I not fucked with this person. So it's just like, I feel like collective, like you're, it's like you're looking at it from all aspects. And even though overall you feel like, you know, it's not a loss because you're still in the best position. Like you got a clean slate. You're able to move on with your life and really build something really new, something solid for yourself. But it's still like, it's almost like, damn, like the whole time that shit was just a fucking lesson. You know what I'm saying? It's just still a level of disappointment that I feel. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get to the tarot. Yeah, we got the two of cups. I told you somebody wants to reconcile with you, but I feel like this person's still immature. We got settlement, child, and two of cups. And for some of you, this could even be a friend. So this could be, you know, some of you could be in the LGBTQ. So if that resonates with you, welcome. Um... But yeah, two of cups can talk about like a deep soul connection, but it also could represent friendship. So, I mean, you got people that want to settle something with you, but I still feel like these people are immature with this child card. Like real shit. You got old friends that want to reconnect with you and want to have this bond back with you. And then you got an ex from your past who wants this two of cups connection with you too. Yeah, look at that Ace of Cups. It's like somebody wants to apologize to you collective. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. We got water energy out here, so people could be in their feelings today. Yeah, look at that. More water, nine of cups. So for some of you, this could be a new love offer. Some of you could be meeting somebody. Two of cups with the ace of cups and a nine of cups. Okay, shit. Or this is somebody, this is how somebody views you. It's like when they think about you collective, they think about this two of cups they had with you. They think about this ace of cups, how you made them feel, how are warm and, you know, just good that they felt around you being with you, like how in love they were with you. Nine of cups, you were wish fulfillment to somebody. You really made somebody happy. You brought joy to their life and shit. For some of you, you could be getting some good news, though, with the Nine of Cups. I mean, that's happiness, that's joy, that's getting your needs and your wants and your wishes met. Ooh, look at that. The sun. Oh, shit, look at that. Leo gang, what's up? Wow. Wow, this is good energy. Look at this. The sun with the two of cups, ace of cups, and the nine of cups. Some of you are going to be really emotionally content today. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what this is that's making you happy. And like maybe you could be having a real good conversation to somebody or somebody makes an offer to you. Like they want to be like, look. This could be like a heartfelt message. Like this person could be saying like everything you always wanted them to say. They could be acknowledging everything you've always thought. Somebody, it's like somebody out here is validating your feelings collective. And I feel like something's going to make you really, really happy sun card. But I also feel like something's being exposed here too. With the sun card being the overall energy, this is something coming to the light. Like Leo, something could be making you really happy today. I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know what the fuck this is. What is this? Why is the two of cups here? Like 
like the sun card and the nine of cups that's like two of the happiest cards in the deck well the sun is the happiest card in the deck but the nine of cups like damn wish fulfillment emotionally content some of you could be having makeup sex with somebody too though I don't know why I'm getting that. Some of you could be having makeup sex with somebody. Two of Cups is like makeup sex, but it's like you're making love with somebody. Like Two of Cups with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Ooh. This, that's, that's like, ooh. That's like somebody hitting all the motherfucking spots, okay? So somebody out here is having some really good sex today. So that could be, that could be, like, some of y'all could have had, like, because <laughs> with this sun coming up, is this is the sun, this represents daylight, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all could have had, like, some morning, some really good morning sex, and, like, it's like, now you've just, like, you're going through the day really content, really happy and shit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that into a cup. It's like somebody had some bomb ass sex this morning and like now it's like the rest of your day is just just you just in fucking la la land just thinking about the the session that you had this morning you're like oh my god like mm. you know what i'm saying it's like what the fuck is going on why the two of cups here oh my god bro but like i said this could be somebody because you got the nine of cups with the message on top of divine masculine so this could be somebody reaching out to you on some mature shit and it's just like i don't know it's like whatever this person is saying it's just like i don't know it's making you happy i think onyx took her ass to sleep Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. See, this is this jealous ass bitch. I'm telling y'all. And I was picking up, I was picking, I don't, I do not remember. Look, I do these readings every day, so I can't remember which readings that I'll be saying certain shit on. I mean, I, I do pretty good, I feel like, but sometimes I'll just be like, I don't know which the fuck one that was. But yes, this Queen of Pentacles reverse, this came out in the reading the day before yesterday. And I told you, this jealous, wicked ass bitch who tried to sabotage shit for you, Two of Cups, it's a Queen of Pentacles reverse who wants to be your friend again they want to connect with you and get this gold digging ass bitch wants to get cool with you again queen of pentacles reverse some of you it could be a capricorn Taurus or a virgo she can have earth in her chart or she just this all this bitch care about is money she's a gold digger but she wants to be friends with you again for whatever reason i guess to try to clean up her image like for real like this queen of pentacles reverse wants to get cool with you again because People are looking at this bitch sideways on some real shit. They looking at this bitch like she's greedy, selfish. If she got kids, she a terrible mother. It's just like she, the queen of pentacles versus somebody that's disloyal as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's a bitch that can't be trusted and shit. And it's just like people are looking at her because it's like, really, bitch? Like you did all this shit over some fucking money or because you thought that you were going to get something or someone out of a situation like all of it like very low some hey man look queen of pentacles reverse people are looking at this bitch sideways on some real shit but this bitch wants to reconnect with you if she she feels like if i get cool with you again then people will get off my neck it'll 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 calm down all these judgment all these people who looking at me sideways and shit it'll calm all this down if i get back cool with collective nah fuck this bitch i told y'all don't let nobody if this is a family member if this is their sister, cousin, auntie, niece, wherever the fuck this bitch is, mother, whatever the fuck she is, don't let don't let this bitch pull that family card on your ass. Don't let this bitch be like, well, we family, we supposed to get along. We gotta make amends. No, 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 bitch, we not family. Family don't do snake ass shit to family members. That's not family, bitch. That's bullshit. Like, this bitch want her ass be like real. This bitch just won't stop showing the fuck up. It's like, bitch, go away. I ain't nobody fucking with you. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? It's like, this, the bitch, they want to keep up with the Joneses and shit. She trying to keep up with you and shit. Like, girl, get the fuck on somewhere. Ain't nobody trying to kick it with you, bitch. Nobody. Yeah, look at this shit death card reverse so for one this bitch hasn't changed she's still the same wicked ass bitch that you remember her to be for one some of you could be a scorpio 
But yeah, for others of you, death card reverse. She wants to bring this shit back from the dead. This is a bitch who didn't value your relationship. She didn't value your bond. She didn't value a, like how much of a good friend you were to her, two of cups. But now that the bitch sees shit for what it is now, it's like, damn, I shouldn't have fucked it up. I shouldn't have fucked up that bond with the collective and shit. Queen of Pentacles reverse the death card reverse. Now she want to bring this shit back from the dead. Now she want to resuscitate the situation. She want to revive it, bring it back to life. But you can't, bitch. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, this shit, this bitch literally left you for dead, collective. Like, she backstabs you. She, tra she betrays you. She fed you to the wolves. She left you high and dry. She ghosted you. She, whatever the fuck she did, it's like she just dismissed you. And now this bitch realized that ain't nobody else really fucking with her like that. Now she want to get back cool with you again because her image is tarnished. Like, no, bitch, we not finna get back cool. Like, bitch, you the reason why my relationship didn't work out. And now this bitch feeling like, well... I mean, it's like, this This the type of bitch that's just like, well, shit, now that the dust and settled, everything is out. I mean, shit, yeah, you know, I did what I did, and it, it didn't work out between you and that masculine, but shit, we should still get back cool. No, bitch, are you out of, this bitch, whoever this is, is a lunatic. Like, on some real shit, this bitch is crazy. Like, who thinks like that? Like, bitch, you, you the reason why my relationship didn't work out? And you think we supposed to just get back cool because I'm not with that motherfucker anyway? No, bitch. No. This is a sick ass. I'm so look. It's a hoe out here that need her motherfucking ass beat on some real shit. Yeah, look at this moon card. This bitch is fucking delusional. Some of you could be a cancer. It's like this bitch is delusional. What is shit moon card? This bitch drowning in her emotions and shit. Or she got a lot of anxiety because she don't know what's next for her life. You know what I'm saying? She didn't did all this wicked ass shit. She didn't hit the fan. Everything had been exposed and shit. And now this bitch is just like, she lost. Like, moon card, she confused. Like, she don't know what's next, where to go. Like, because people not fucking with her. On some real shit, it's almost just like, well, what do I do now? It's like, shit, you don't do shit, bitch. Move on with your life. Go seek therapy, bitch. Get help. That's where you can start. Shit, moon card. Yeah, magician reverse. Magician reverse with the moon. For some of you, this bitch was doing magic on you and shit. Got Virgo. Uh, Virgo Gemini out here. The magician reverse is a shapeshifter with the moon. This is somebody who plays so many games. It's This is sick. Like, the moon card with the magician reverse, that's a shapeshifting type of energy. But that's somebody who will literally mold themselves into be anything. Like, whatever they need to be to get what they want from somebody is... So, this is the type of bitch, like, she'll be gay. Like, she'll be in polygamy relationships. She'll do whatever the fuck if she thinks she gonna get something out of it. Like, she feel like it's something that's gonna be beneficial. Like, it's gonna help her status or it's gonna give her money and shit. Or she gonna get... She gonna get something tangible out of this shit. Like, this is the type of bitch who will get into, like, it could be a, a couple that could be like, okay, what well, we looking for, we looking for uh, somebody to invite into our relationship and shit. You know what I'm saying? This bitch, she probably not even gay. But if she find out that this poly couple, the man got a really good job and the woman got a really good job and he willing to spend a ticket and shit, he willing to spend some money, this bitch will join this shit. She don't care. She like, yeah, I'll be a part of y'all shit just so a motherfucker can give her some money, just so a motherfucker can take care of her. Like, this bitch is sick, okay? Like, for real, it is something wrong with this hoe. Like, just crazy. Oh, my God, bro. Why is the magician reverse? It's like very manipulative. Magician reverse. It's like this bitch tries to manipulate any situation any way she can. Like real shit. How's the magician here? Yeah, King of Wands reverse. Yeah, just like she manipulated your masculine as well. Look at this. King of Wands reverse. Because he was low vibe. He was insecure. He was on some whole shit. 
thinking like he just wanted validation. So he thought he didn't know your worth. So he thought that he was just doing something by bagging, bagging you and then trying to bag one of your friends or your relatives do too. This that was stroking this nigga ego. He thought that shit was cool. King of Wands reverse. Could have been an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but not knowing that this bitch was really like setting him up for failure and shit. This bitch was a bigger snake than he was that was getting ready to bite his ass. You know what I'm saying? Then four pentacles reverse. For a lot of you, you're closed off to this situation. Four of pentacles, you're holding back your energy. You're holding back your resources. It's like you're not extending yourself to these people or this situation. Four of pentacles, like you're holding back your no. No, it's like no. I'm cool. Why's the four of pentacles here? Or these people are trying to hold on to your energy with the four of pentacles. Yeah, look at that. Emperor reverse. Who's the Emperor reverse? Some of you, this could be your baby daddy and shit. Real prideful, real egotistical. Emperor reverse. Yeah, it's like this Emperor reverse. He wants to go down a different path. I'm telling you. He wants to do something different with his life. He wants to go into a new direction with the two of wands of right. But at the same time, he has not done the work. I'm telling you, these people, whoever this feminine energy is and this masculine energy from your past, this ex, this baby daddy, this ex-husband, whoever the fuck this is, two of wands reverse, these people want to hurry up and go in a new direction now because they that lame shit that they was on, it didn't backfired on their ass. These people are trying to escape judgment. And they think they're going to use you to do it. It's like if I hold on to the collective, if I get back cool with the collective, if I mend things with the collective, if we reconcile, if we get back cool, it's going to help clean up my energy. It's going to bring me luck. It's going to make all this shit stop. Like these people really are trying to hang on to your energy, trying to hurry up and go into a different direction because they see the shit that they was on ain't working. It's like these people are literally trying to escape judgment. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah, King of Pentacles. I feel like you got a few people collective. Like King of Pentacles reverse, King of Wands reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse, Emperor reverse. Some of you got a few people from your past that is trying to like. They ass is this relentless. And for some of you, this Emperor reverse, this ex from your past, this crazy loony ass bitch could be his baby mama or his other baby mama or his ex wife. This is a bitch that was attached to this masculine energy. This masculine still low vibe. It's like the Emperor reverse. This is somebody who really, oh my God, this person's energy just pisses me off, dog. Like this is somebody who the Emperor reverse, this person, their pride and their ego, bro. Like this is somebody who really believes that they're not lame. Like, and you are to the fullest extent. You're a loser and a hoe. Just materialistic, low vibe, 3D. Like a male gold digger and a male Jezebel. Like he's just so ill. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah, Page of Cups. It's just like somebody out here is trying to apologize to somebody, but it's like they're childish as fuck. It's like this person is just possessive, childish, immature, jealous. They don't know how to express themselves emotionally, so they just do stupid shit. Page of Cups Reverse could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It's like, yes, this person loves you, Ace of Cups. They could even come towards you crying and shit, trying to have tears in their eyes and shit with the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups Reverse. But it's like they're so manipulative, so immature. This is just like something is wrong with. Oof. Why is the page of cups reverse?
<laughs> Look at that ace of swords. That's the truth. It's like somebody out here is just like, you know, you have full clarity on these people, on this situation. It's just like, you don't want, you know, these people are childish, just fucking immature. You just don't want nothing to do with their ass. Like, real shit. That's the ace of swords here. Yeah, King of Cups reverse. Like, oh my God, bro. It's like these people want to, ooh, it's like these people want your energy so bad. Like somebody out here, King of Cups Reverse is manipulative, emotionally unavailable. Like this is somebody who is just not relation, they're not ready for a relationship at all. They're not ready for anything long term at all. They need to be somewhere trying to clean their fucking life up, okay? But it's like these people know they didn't fucked up by the decision that they made. They know they didn't make the right choices. They know they was fucked up to try to sabotage whatever y'all had. They know it. And they know they ain't going they know they never gonna find this type of bond and relationship again. But like trying to rush back in and like reconcile or get this fake ass half ass apology knowing you not ready is not the answer. You know what I'm saying? Like And it's like, you know the truth, collective, like, if, this whole situation is so clear. Sun card with the Ace of Swords, this shit is so clear. Like, you can see exactly what these people are doing. It's just like, King of Cups reverse, person is hella manipulative. Like, be careful with somebody trying to love bomb you, especially a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Or an Aries. Yeah, three of swords reverse, but I feel like you're not gonna they're not gonna be able to manipulate you. Ace of swords upright, you know the fucking truth. And three of swords, you're not even heartbroken over this shit no more. You're over it. It's like you just don't it's like all this clarity just showed you who the fuck these people were, and you're good. You're cool. Three of swords reverse, you've done the healing. You've dealt with this situation. Like I said, you've analyzed it from multiple angles multiple perspectives is and you see clearly like these people never had your best intentions motherfuckers who never planned on choosing you they never was really your friends they never really loved you for real it's like you see shit exactly for what it is and it's like ain't no cleaning that shit up you can't unsee the shit so it's like these people coming towards you with these manipulative ass tax tactics and half-ass apologies they like they don't stand a fucking chance they don't. And I feel like you got, you, and like in your own personal life outside of this situation and these people, shit is going good for you. Collect the sun card with the nine of cups. You're happy. You're getting good news. Shit is going your way. You're feeling content with what you're doing, what you're waking up doing on a regular basis. Like whatever new thing you done implemented, whether, whether it's a new job, a new workout routine, whatever it is that you personally start doing on your own is making you very happy. And it's like these people are trying to come in and manipulate you. They're trying to fuck with your emotions and steal your joy and all this type of shit. Like, no, get the fuck back and get the fuck on. Like, real shit. I just heard a horn outside, too. That was the three of souls reverse. It's like everybody out here in this reading is in a reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse, King of Wands reverse, King of Pentacles reverse, Emperor reverse, King of Cups reverse, Page of Cups reverse. Like, yeah, Nine of Swords. These people are fucking guilty. They know they were wrong. Nine of Swords. This shit keeping them up at night. They can't sleep and shit. Being haunted, having nightmares, anxiety, headaches. This shit is really fucking with them. But oh well, like you got to deal with it. Yeah, look at that because you're still moving on. Six of Swords. This spirit guy's like, no, keep going. Leave these people where I told you to leave them at in the past. And some of you feel bad for these people. It's just like, damn, like you could be so much better. Your life could be so much better had you just been different. Had you just be smarter. Had you just make better decisions. But they didn't want to. Like collective. We, you, your heart is big. You have a lot of empathy and shit for people. And I understand that. But at the same time, like, collective, you have to understand, like, these people had a choice just like you did. They had the same choice you did. 
They could have chose to do the right thing or do the wrong thing. For a lot of these people, they chose to do the wrong thing. So this is their karma. This is how their life is going to be. Because they had an opportunity to do the right thing, to change their life around. And they chose, they, con they made a conscious decision not to do the right thing. These people knew better. And they still chose to do wrong. Because they thought that getting over or being manipulative, lying, being sneaky, they thought it was they thought that they could get around some shit. It's people lack integrity. There's the six of swords here. A lot of these people gonna be stuck on the same level for a long time. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Wands reverse. Just all these fucking reversals. King of Wands reverse. And I'm telling you, here this man, this masculine energy, he came out in yesterday's reading matched up with all these different hoes. You got the King of Wands reverse to the Queen of Wands reverse. And you got the King of Pentacles reverse to the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So he, he tried to uh, replace you with somebody that's a whore, a Queen of Wands reverse. Then he tried to replace you with somebody else that's a Queen of Pentacles reverse, a fucking gold digger, just like him. Like all of these people, all these women that this masculine energy is attracting or 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 people that are dip, like these different low vibrational as women or men that this person is attracting. Is like they're attracting these type of people because that's how low they vibe. These are people that's an energetic match for this person. The King of Pentacles reverse to the Queen of Pentacles reverse. King of Wands reverse to the Queen of Wands reverse. They're attracting people that's on that same energetic level with them. They want to be a hoe. They're attracting hoes. They want to be a gold digger, a finesser, or a con. They're attracting a gold digger, finesser, and a con. Like, that's how this shit is operating now. They will not be able to attract somebody, high vibe, anybody of value, as long as they're vibrating in this energy and refuse to do the work. Most high ain't gonna let that shit happen. Queen of Wands reverse. And I'm telling you, just like yesterday, he's ha whoever this masculine energy is, he's having an issue with all these hoes. It's like he beefing with this Queen of Pentacles reverse and he beefing with this Queen of Wands reverse. He into it with all of them. These could be, like I said, he can have kids by these bitches and shit. Yeah, look at that. World card reverse. They're, he's repeating a, a, a grade. Not just a class. I'm talking about a whole grade. So, I mean, like, this motherfucker flunked out of the 12th grade. He's now starting back over. Day one of the semester. Time we're gonna do this again. We gonna and he gonna keep doing it until he get it right. Will of Fortune reverse. He didn't level up. This is the the world card reverse is the definition of insanity. Doing the same shit repeatedly, expecting a different result. It's like you keep doing the same shit over and over again because you you're not learning. Not learning the lesson. You can't just keep just, just hopping from one bitch to the next thinking that, oh, well, if I if I be sneaky towards this or I be sneaky towards that one or I lie to this one or I tell this type of lie, it's going to change. No. You're still going to get the same outcome. Somebody here just don't fucking get it. Somebody here is slow. World card reverse. Three of Wands. This is why you turn your back on this shit. You're like, no. I'm moving forward. My shit's coming in. You're looking out into your future. Some of you are making plans to travel. Doing all type of shit. It's just like, you're just not even focused on this shit at all. Like, real shit. Like, Three of Wands. It's like, you're over it. Like, Three of Wands. Three. This was a third party situation. Like, you turn your back on this shit collective. It's just like, you're done here. It's like you're done with this person. You're done with these people. It's like you don't want to hear no more about it. It's like, please just get the fuck on. Like, stop trying to come towards me. I don't need no apology. I don't want nothing. Just go away. It's like your whole back is turned to this shit and you just don't care. Three of Wands. Some of you are making plans for your future. It's just like you have a clean slate and you're really like doing what the fuck you want to do. Really.
planting seeds and doing, look at this shit, page of pentacles. As soon as I say planting seeds, some of you are starting something new. Some of you could have went back to school. It's just like you're in class, like you're minding your business or it don't even have to be school. It just could be something new, page of pentacles that you're learning. You know, you're starting off. It's just like you're a page again, um, collective. It's like you're a master of the previous lesson. You're a master of the previous cycle. Now you're in a new cycle, but you're starting off as a page because you got to learn and grow through this one as well. You know what I'm saying? So page of pentacles, you're starting off as a page of pentacles in this new class. You're a student. You're learning. You know what I'm saying? Some of you are learning. You're training for something or you know what I'm saying? Some of you can have to do with a job since it's pentacles. It's a pentacle energy, job, money, work, career, project. You're studying something, school, furthering your education, but it's like you're learning something new. You're a page of pencil. You're a student. You know, you're you're being taught. You're already a master of the old cycle. I'm a page of pentacles here. Yeah, ten of pentacles. Look at this shit. You're making your way towards the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, is de this is definitely financially. Some of you are saving money because you want to be a homeowner. Ten of Pentacles. You're going from the Page of Pentacles to the Ten. So whatever this is that you're working on is going to build generational wealth. Whatever this career that you're starting, whatever this schooling is that you're doing, this trade or whatever the fuck this is that you're learning or training on. It's going to pay off in the end is basically what I'm telling you because it's going to help you build this Ten of Pentacles, whatever this is that you're training, learning, starting, studying. And some of you know that. Yeah, Seven of Swords, Reverse. I'm the seven of swords reverse. Somebody out here then got caught up in their lies and cheating and scheming and scamming and thieving and shit. Yeah, hang man. Yes, yeah, some of you woke the fuck up. You realize who this person was, all the lies that they told. Some of you realize this person stole from you. Like it's just like, oh my god, this person is just not who you thought they were, bro. Hey, man, I told you, you didn't look at this shit from all aspects, bro. And it's just like all these lies and shit. This seven of swords reverse, this lies, this cheating, this shit that this person was trying to get away with that has now came out. Hey, man, it's just like you just look at this person so different. Like the hangman upright, your perspective on this person has just totally changed. It's like you're woke. I keep saying like you can't unsee it. You can't unsee these people for who they really are now. And it's just like, wow. Like, man, it's like these people, masks are off. They're exposed. And you're just looking like, wow, you are really, truly a terrible fucking person. Like, real shit. I have some nine of cups here. Yeah, six of pentacles. Yeah, look at this. Some of y'all getting a money increase or you're getting some good news about money. Oh, I just heard for some of you, you're getting paid early. I don't know what the fuck that means or that's about. But yeah, six of pentacles with the nine of cups. Something out here is making you happy. Either a raise, a money increase, getting paid early or some of you, you're dating somebody new and you're enjoying like this equal exchange of energy is making you happy with the six of pentacles. It's like an equal give and take that you got going on with somebody. That's the six of pentacles here. But like I said, somebody wants to balance things out with you because they see you happy and content without them. Like for a lot of you nine of cups, you're single, but you're happy. You're looking good, feeling good these days and shit. And here comes somebody with the six of pentacles who wants to make amends with you, who wants to balance, balance things out with you. This person may even need your help in regards to like money or something or like they gonna try to pay you back some money that they owe you or something like some shit this, this person was supposed to be giving back to you a long time ago now they want to finally pay you it's like motherfucker you supposed to give me this shit two years ago you know what type of shit the eight of swords it's like this person is thinking of anything anything that they can fucking do to try to get back into it to fix this I 
I feel like this person is really wrecking their brain trying to figure out what they can do, what angle they can take to try to like get back in good with you. It's like really driving them insane with the Eight of Swords. They don't know how to fix this. Nine of Swords of right, Eight of Swords. Somebody's all up in their fucking head, dog. Could be an air sign. Gemini, you know, Libra, Aquarius. They're all in their fucking head trying to figure out how can they fix this? What can I do? What can I do? You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, it's just too late. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, Star card. You're the star. You, you've already healed, bro. Like, real shit, you're in this star energy. You're getting wish fulfillment. You're prayed up. You're blessed. Like, it's your... You know what I'm saying? You're already in the energy where these people, their apologies, their gestures, and all this shit is just, like, not needed. It's like you're perfectly fine on your own. You're enlightened. You're woken. Like, you're really shining. The sun with the star and the hangman... Like, wow, that is powerful energy. Like, you made it, literally. Like, some of you, this old cycle cl closing out, you just don't even know how significant that shit is, bro. Like, you don't understand. This was a fight for your legacy. This is a fight for your ge generational curses. Like, because you successfully closed out this karmic cycle and closed the door on this chapter of your life, the foundation that you're creating and the shit that you're investing in is going to build. The Ten of Pentacles is out here. It's going to build generational wealth for years to come, for generations down the line, for your kids, kids, grandkids. Like, you have no idea what's coming, but it's because you stayed ten toes down with the most high. You did. Even through the heartbreak, even through the pain, even through the suffering, even through the slander and the, and the black magic and all that shit, you still have faith that the Most High would just turn everything around. And that's what's happening here, bro. I'm telling you, a lot of you, you are not going to believe your life in the next 10 years. Like, you're not. The Ten of Pentacles out here, you're starting at the page energy. You're at the very beginning of this new chapter, this new beginning of this shit. But 10 years from now, you you won't even believe how your life has turned the fuck around. I'm talking about you're going to have that solid, stable marriage. You're going to have that long ass money, the house that you dreamed of, the car that you dreamed of. And you're just going to be thanking God that you made the decisions that you made. Like... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Star card. You gonna get everything that you deserve in being some for staying ten toes down with the most high. Look at that high priestess. I'm telling the truth, bro. When the high priestess comes out upright. This is the equivalent of like the Ace of, Ace of Swords coming out upright. The High Priest of I'm telling y'all the truth. And for a lot of y'all, y'all could be tarot readers and shit. High Priestess, you're very in tune. You're, you're, my, your intuition is on fucking point. Somebody's name could start with an M or an N or a C or an A. The high priestess, you're so in tune. You're so fucking connected. The hangman, the high priestess, the star, the sun. It's so much major arcana energy out here. It's like today is officially the start of something new. It could be because Mercury going direct. Why is the high priestess here? It's like I said, you hold so much knowledge. You hold so much secrets. It's even shit about this situation that you know, but you just won't even speak on. Because for what? Ain't no point in speaking on it. It's not affecting your life. <sighs> oh, bless me. Confirmation. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. I, that was the six of wands that just tried to flip over the six of wands reverse. Yeah, somebody fell from grace. They lost. They're a loser. They did all that wicked ass shit just to lose in the end. This is a dummy. Now your life gonna be slowed down, delayed, and shit because you chose to 
Ugh chose to play for the wrong team you want to play for the dark side instead of bring your ass to the light so now you stuck over there people are just fucking stupid dog i was a happy this here yeah string card this person was a coward some of you this person was a leo it's like just coward just weak Your enemies have been weakened. They tried so much shit to go against you collective and they weren't successful with none of it. Now these motherfuckers tired. Some of their asses is getting sick and shit. All that shit backfiring on their ass. They don't even got the strength to keep coming for you no more. It's like you lost. <laughs> like they don't even got the strength to keep doing all that toxic ass shit that they was doing. It's like they didn't burn themselves out on it. Strength for reverse. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Now they're trying to recover. Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah. It's just like you got over the betrayal. Ten of Swords reverse. You got over the betrayal. Ace of Wands reverse. You're not interested in reconnecting with these people. You're not sexually attracted to this masculine energy no more. You're not fucking interested. It's like the passion that you have for these people or these situations is completely fucking gone. Like, it's gone. I told you, it just seems blank. It's nothing there when you think about these people and shit. You don't feel shit. It's like nothing there. Like, I promise you, like, it, look, when you watching this video, if you consciously just close your eyes and you think about this past person, what do you see? nothing for a lot of you when you used to think about this person back in the day when you were together or you were waiting on this person to come back or get their act together and shit you would still see that vision of y'all getting married of being happy and all that type of shit and now you sit here and close your eyes and you think about that person it's absolutely nothing it's blank like everything all that it's been wiped out Nine of Wands reverse. Now these people holding grudges with you and shit. They got major trust issues and shit. They're tired. They're worn the fuck down. Some of them sick. You know, they just bitter. And they like to project their anger, anger out on other people. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands is projection. It's somebody who's upset. They're mad. They got an attitude. So it's somebody who's just mad at the fucking world because of the decision that they made. They don't take accountability. Yeah, two of wands because you don't, I mean, two of swords because you don't give a fuck. It's like they're mad because you don't care no more. <laughs> See, when, you, when these people could trigger you, when they could fuck with your feelings and shit, these people fed off of that shit. Now that you give absolutely zero fucks and you don't care, these people don't have nothing to do no more. Like your energy, your light source. You were the reason why these people were able to carry on with your shit. Now that you just don't give a fuck no more and you're super hip to what these people be doing, it's like, no, just get the fuck on and get away from me. And ain't nobody else fucking with them either. So it's just like they can't even replace you. They don't have you no more and they can't replace you with nobody else either. It's like you killed their whole operation. Yeah, night of, night of, night of wands. Now motherfucker want to chase you and shit. That's the Knight of Wands here. It's like some motherfucker out here that want to chase you. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Like this past person could be a Sag. Doesn't have to be though. But Knight of Wands, now this person want to chase you. But like I said, it's just a test. This person just wants to try you. They want to see if they could still weasel their way back in the door to see if you will still like let them fuck or something. No, bitch, you're not doing nothing. You're not even interested in this person in a sexual way. Ace of Wands reverse. You're not turned on. You don't want this person. None of that shit. Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands reverse. This person wants to chase you. They want to make amends now. Wave the white flag. Call a truce. I don't want no more drama. I don't want to fight. I don't want no more chaos and shit. But it's only because this person lost.
These people are fucking slow. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Cups. You still walking away. Like, bitch, I ain't trying to make no amends with you. Fuck you. <laughs> That's some real shit. It's like, you don't even want that shit no more. You do not want what this person is offering. That offer is no longer good enough for you. Why's the sun far here? Yeah, ten of wands. You didn't drop this burden. This shit not your problem no more. Collective, you just like mm, that's on y'all. These people running around trying to escape judgment, and it's just everywhere they go, it's just like they're having to face what they did. Either because people are talking about it, people are reminding them of it. Some of them they're reminding themselves of it because like for a lot of you, it's side effects that came with shit that they were doing. Some of them sick. Some of them, they lost money. Some of them are being attacked mentally. Nine of swords, eight of swords. Some of their mental space fucked up. It's like they're being constantly reminded of how they treated you collective. And you're over here. You didn't release this burden already. Minding your fucking business. You healed. You moved the fuck on. And these people are just find, trying to find a way to get back into your good graces. Because it's like they don't got shit else. Other than the judgment. The backlash for what they did is all they got. They don't have you. They don't have nobody else. They don't got shit. It's just like this shit is the topic of discussion with everybody. It's like they can't escape from it, even though they're trying to. They The only way they think they can escape this shit is if they try to force their way back in your life and make amends with you. Like, if I get back cool with the collective, then people will stop talking about this shit. They'll stop saying shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, we clean this shit up type shit. No. Ace of Pentacles reverse is a missed opportunity. Ain't no cleaning shit up. Ain't no clearing shit up. You did what you wanted to do. You wanted to be a wicked ass nigga, a wicked ass bitch. You wanted to do all that snake shit. You did it. And now these are the results. Now you're exposed. People see how you really get down. Now people see how weak this masculine energy is. And you're done. These people wanted to keep this cycle open so bad, but it was never up to them. They were never in charge of keeping this, this cycle open. It's closed. And these people are still trying to live in this shit. They're repeating the cycle. They're still in it, but it's closed for you. Yeah, look at that tower card. What's the tower here? I'm talking about it's all majors in here in the upright. Sun, the tower, hangman. Star. It was another one too. Yeah, look at that. Unexpected communication. Tower with the Knight of Cups reverse. I'm telling you, somebody's gonna come in out the blue. Could be a Scorpio or they got Scorpio on their chart. But somebody's gonna come out the blue trying to love bomb you. Knight of Cups reverse. They're going to sell you all kind of dreams. Tell you everything you want to hear. Oh, my God. I knew it should have been you the whole time. We should get married. Let's have kids. Let's open businesses. I'm going to buy you that dream house. I mean, talking about they're going to tell you everything. Everything that you always want this motherfucker to say, they're going to say it. But they lying. Not in a cuss reverse. This is insincere. This is somebody who... Telling you all this bullshit, trying to manipulate your emotions, trying to gaslight you, but they ain't got no intentions on keeping their promises and shit. It's bullshit. Yeah, look at you, but you already know that Queen of Swords. <laughs> you already know this person gonna lie. And look, your emotions are locked up for this person anyway. How you gonna manipulate somebody who's not even in an emotional space? You're not in your feelings about this situation or this person. You're logical. You operate from your mental now. So it's like they coming at you with all this emotional, sentimental shit and you don't give a fuck. Queen of Swords, you're like, okay, what's the point? What, what do you want? Type shit. You getting straight to it, okay? I'm telling you, this motherfucker in for a rude awakening. Queen of Swords. Some of you gonna tell this motherfucker off or you gonna cuss him the fuck out on some real shit. Yeah, nine of pentacles, you know, no, bitch. 
I'd rather be single. I don't need your raggedy ass offer. I don't need none of your whack ass promises. I do good by myself. Nine of Pentacles. You look good. You feel good. You self made. Your business doing good. Your money looking good. You stable. You you confident. You secure within yourself. Like it's nothing fake about you. You really the truth. Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. And motherfuckers know that. Like real shit. They know that. Nine of Pentacles is somebody who's self-made. They really got it out the mud. So the shit that they see you do, the shit that they see you post online, if you post pictures and shit, it's really you. It ain't no faking. You know what I'm saying? Some of these people might think you be putting on this shit, but you really don't. It really is what it is with you. What you see is what you get type shit. You speak the truth. Queen of Swords, like the fuck you've dealt with your trauma you understand like you understand all that shit that happened to you is how is what made you who you are today queen of swords that's why you can speak confidently on the truth that's why you can speak facts on shit you know what the fuck you're talking about because you're highly intelligent you know what i'm saying with the queen of swords this is somebody who studies information queen of swords reads she reads books. She reads fine print. She she reads shit before she signs it. Like she's smart enough to know better. How you think she got to the nine of pentacles? She ain't a fucking dummy. Seven of wands reverse and these people are shame and embarrassed and shit. Struggling to survive. Ready to give up on life because they still don't know how to set boundaries with toxic motherfuckers and shit. Still hanging around the wrong motherfuckers and shit. That's the seven, seven of wands reverse. Somebody is a fucking pushover, weakling. Yeah, seven of pentacles reversed. They bank account in the negative. They broke. They invested in the wrong shit. Seven of pentacles reversed. Their money that slowed down significantly. They bills piled up. Yeah, look at that. Six of one reverse. I told you a loser. Somebody who's so, it's like somebody out here just needs too much attention, too much validation. It's like they can't make a move. They can't make a decision for themselves without the approval of somebody else's opinion. This is like somebody who wants to start a business, but then, but before they can start the business, they want to check in with their homeboy or check in with their mama first to see if it's a good idea. You don't need nobody's fucking approval to do what the fuck you want to do. Six of Wands reverse. This person is a loser. They're jealous. They're a hater. They're a follower. They just follow the crowd. They follow the trend. So this is a motherfucker who's on that. This is somebody who's trying to act like they're on a healing journey and I'm leveling up. I'm working on me, self-care, self-love type shit. And they really ain't doing a motherfucking thing but the same shit they always do. That's why Four Cups, you're not interested. Four Cups. Yeah, six of cups. These is mis These are these miserable motherfuckers from your past, dog. Like these people running around lying, acting like they understand what's going on. They understand what it means to work on themselves and elevate and da 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 da. They do not. These people are repeating the same cycle that you just closed out, collective. You get it. They don't. These people still don't even want to take accountability for how the fuck they be moving and the shit that they be doing or the shit that they did in the past. These people think just because the situation is over with and it happened in the past, that mean they don't have to they, they don't have to reap what they sow. Yes, you do. You have to go back and correct that. You have to go back and correct your mistakes. Just because you're not with that person no more, just because you ain't seen them, talk to them, heard from them, don't mean that it's over. You have to clear your karmic debt. That means you need to go back and apologize and shit. If you're able to. You know what I'm saying? You need to make shit right with motherfuckers that you fucked over. And they don't want to do it. They just want to like, well, shit. Is it, I can't do it now type shit. Or they block me or whatever. Like, motherfuckers know how to do shit when they really want to do it. So, whoever the fuck this is just making excuses and shit. The fuck out of here, bro. Like, you just a loser. You're too fucking weak. Strength card reverse. You a loser and a follower. Like, you a pushover in a lane. Like, real shit. Like, you might as well just crawl the fuck back up in your mama vagina because that's how fucking bitch made this person is, male or female. This is a fucking pussy, dog. Like, this is somebody who would never have your back. I'm talking about never. 
I'm talking about this is the type of motherfucker that will sell you out. I mean, immediately. Yeah, lover's car, but have the audacity to want to be in a relationship with you. I don't get it. Yeah, this person had a choice between you and somebody else, and they chose the other person. That shit didn't work out. It fell the fuck apart because they wanted to. They wanted to be toxic. They want to be on that devil shit. They didn't want to come to the light. And so they made the decision, and shit happened how it happened. It panned out. It turned out like it turned out. Now motherfuckers is mad because it didn't turn out in their favor. Now they sitting there looking dumb, having to repeat the same shit, having to start over from ground zero. But I'm talking about everybody starting over. So a lot of you collective, you have a new beginning. You just started a new job. You didn't started something new. But you're not starting over for, for from the beginning. You just starting over to a new. You're you're starting a new beginning and a new chapter in your life. You're you're starting a, a a chapter. You're 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 adding to the success that you've already a, a, accumulated. You're adding to that nine of pentacles you already got. You're leveling up even more. You're taking the next that you accomplished. You graduated from one scenario. This is like you graduated from college. Now you working on your doctorate degree. These people, they went the opposite direction. They went backwards. These people ain't even graduated. They haven't, they didn't make it to college. They not freshmen in college because they still ain't graduated from high school yet. So these people are starting over from the day. They, they got to repeat high school. You didn't graduate from college and starting to work on your doctorate. You level up, they level down. And that's why it's an energetic disconnect. You would never be able to be friends with these people. You'll never be able to date these people again because your energies are just not in alignment anymore. They're not even close. Since the fact these people got to start over and you're leveling up to something, you're starting something new, you're too far apart. Like you're too far apart. You're too fucking far apart for that type of shit to even work. It's like, it's nothing that you can do with these people. They don't fit in in your life. It's nowhere for them to fit. You, it would be too much. You don't have the, the time to be trying to teach these people some shit they should have already learned had they been paying attention. They did what the fuck they wanted to do. So now they asked out. They on their own. They got to learn it for themselves. You tried to help them. They didn't want it. They didn't want your help. They didn't want to learn. They didn't want to come to the light. They want to be in the dark with all that toxic, manipulative ass bullshit. That's where the fuck they at. Starting over with them same people and you somewhere traveling. Man, you, man. Woo. It's like you're literally on two different levels from these people, bro. Yeah, look. Page of Swords came out reverse. Somebody talking shit or they lying. Like, Page of Swords being clarified by the lovers. I feel like this is somebody who's talking shit. So, that they're, this is somebody who's trying to keep other people from dating you. So, you got somebody who's just that childish. Page of Swords reverse. They're sitting up telling lies just so nobody takes their spot. Like, this could be... I don't feel like... This is somebody who's like... Or telling people that you are in a relationship with them and you're not. It's like, what the fuck? Like, I'm single. What the fuck is you talking about? This motherfucker somewhere lying, telling people that y'all together. No, we're not, bitch. Like, somebody out here is delusional and a liar. Like, we're not together. This person is just telling people that because they don't want nobody else to have you. They don't want nobody else to take their spot and shit. They trying everything they can do to, to make this lover's connection happen with you again. And it's not going to fucking happen. Yeah, look at that. Hermit card reverse. You do not want this person around. It's like this person has been shunned out of your life. It's almost like, it's almost like, say you live, you like, say you're like the mayor of the city or some shit. It's like before you even enter the city, city limits, it's a big ass sign as you enter into that motherfucker that has this person name on it that says this motherfucker is not allowed in the city of blah, blah, blah. Like, real shit. Like, you do not want this person around. This person knows that they're not welcome around you in your life. To anything that you're having. Party, event, family shit. This, this person, they're not welcome. At all. Hermit Core Reverse. Now they lonely, depressed. Feeling isolated. Like, don't nobody fuck with them and shit. You brought that shit on yourself. Yeah, look at that devil. This person is a, Look, this is who they work for now. 
This is who this person worked for. They are no longer being controlled. This person's soul is gone. They sold it to the devil. Now they get to do the devil's work. Mm -mm. Yeah, look this shit. Everything backfiring on this person. Eight of Wands reverse, return to sender. And for a lot of you, you got this person blocked. It's like spirit will not allow access. Yeah, four wands reverse for some of you. Some of you could have been married to this person. Other than you, this could be a twin flame shit. Yeah, page of wands reverse for some of you. I'm telling you, some of you, this person got an STD, but they're just immature and childish as fuck. This is somebody who's very jealous, possessive, don't want to grow the fuck up, immature. It's like bad news. This person could be getting kicked out of their house and shit. Four of Wands reverse is a page of Wands reverse. This person could have got, got kicked out. Yeah, Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, they could have been living with a Queen of Cups reverse or they are living with a King, Queen of Cups reverse and they not happy and shit. Four of Wands reverse is an unhappy marriage. There's a lot of dysfunction and chaos and argument happening in the home. Yeah, Queen of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. You're resting, minding your business, ignoring the bullshit, maintaining your peace, protecting your peace, getting more sleep, getting more rest, just doing you. Like, you're not worried about this shit at all. You don't care. Yeah, look at you. You're the Empress. Period. You're the motherfucking Empress. You know your worth. You know your value. These people, and not even to say it like that, but they're beneath you. It's just like, mm-mm. Like, I'm cool. I don't deal with that type of shit. Yeah, five of cups reverse. You don't have no regrets. It's like, even though certain shit about your past collective is disappointing, you don't have no re regrets about it. Like, Queen of Swords, like I said, you learn from each experience and you understand how each of those disappointing situations made you who you are. You wouldn't be as smart as you are. You wouldn't be the Queen of Swords if it wasn't for those experiences. Now you're the queen of swords, nine of pentacles, and the fucking empress. Living life with no regrets. Living life being authentically you. Because you can do that. You ain't ashamed of shit. Not nothing in your past. Not nobody you dated. It just is what it is. Because at the end of the day, them people fucked up. To this very day, every last single one of them people collected. If you dated with love, if they could, they would love to be back in your life again. You just don't want them. You don't want them or you don't want them around. But if they could, if they could, if they, if you want it, if you would allow them, they would. They would come right back because they know who the fuck you are. You're the realest bitch they probably ever meet in their life. Yeah, look at this. Night of Swords Reverse, not somebody hostile. They mad. They pissed. They want to cuss you out because you're still leaving. You're still leaving. You don't give a fuck. This is like, it is what it is. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Three of Pentacles, I don't, three of Pentacles, I don't want to work with you. Yeah, five of swords. This person know they fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nothing that this person can say. It's just, it is what it is. You the king of swords and the queen of swords. This person won't realize justice, will of fortune, and judgment. Look at all this good karma. You got triple good karma. Justice, will of fortune, and the judgment all upright. I'm telling you, your life is just finna be so blessed. You finna get everything you fucking desire to collect and then some shit you ain't fucking asked for. Mm -hmm. And this person is just gonna be stuck, mad, in poverty. And I'm talking about when I'm talking about in poverty, I'm talking about in all aspects. I'm talking about this person never gonna make no, no real money because when they was on top, when they did have a little bit of change in their pocket, they abused it. Where they took advantage of people, they abused their power. They thought, oh, well, I can finesse anybody I want. Or, like I said, this person might make money again, but they'll never truly be emotionally content. They'll never be happy. They'll never find another you. Like, it's like some of these people is just like they used your use their money to get whoever they want or to manipulate people and shit. So now it's like they're always gonna have to do that. They'll never find another genuine person that don't want them, that don't want them for their money. It's like, since you worship money, well, you better make the best out of it because that's how you finna live your life. It's like, now this person, 
they're going to have to, they're, I hope, like, I hope this making sense. It's almost like this person now is just like, they're going to have to use their money to get people now. You know, if this person used to flex and be like, oh, I got, I got money. I can, I can fuck any bitch I want. I got stacks. I can get, I can get any bitch I want and all that type of shit. That's what this person's going to have to do for the rest of their life. You like gold diggers, you like flossing, you like tempting bitches with your money, manipulating bitches with your money and shit, stringing them along. Get ready to have to do that till the day you die. Like from now on, every bitch that you're going to meet is going to be a finesser. She, you're going to have to pay her to get anything that you want. This person is cursed to that type of shit because that's what they were doing. That's the lifestyle that they refused to give up. Instead of genuine true love that they were having with you. A bitch who only wanted them for for them. A person who loved them for their personality. A person who loved them regardless of their imperfections and shit. They will never find nobody else like that. Every bitch they gonna meet, she gonna be like, you gotta pay me. Pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me. Every bitch. So, collective, this has been a reading. I hope that it resonates. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.